In this lesson, I'm just going to quickly show you how to add an additional cutter to the cutter that came with Dragon Cut, if you happen to get another one. So to do that, you come up to the vinyl spooler like so, click on that, and we click on this Cut Options here, and we can see this is our current cutter. If we want to add another one, we simply click this button here, we select the cutter that we've now got, like so, and click Install. And it will advise us that that cutter's been installed, and it's ready to go, as you can see there. Now, if you have any troubles with it uh, sending a cut file to your uh, cutter or a test, you simply click Detect here, follow this wizard through, and it will assist you find your port and uh, get that cutter set up. And of course you can change ports, etc. here. So that's how we do that. Uh, we add a cutter, and we can always uh, remove a cutter and add another one uh, as much as we like. Now, talking about this cutter here, if you wanted to, say, calibrate this cutter, like its laser offset or its arms offset or its blade offset, you can choose from one of these um, calibration wizards here. So, for example, if I click on the laser offset here, you can see I've got step one. I need to follow this through and go to step two and follow that through, etc. And I can actually set how to calibrate my laser offset based on the new cutter I've got so that I can get very accurate contour cutting. And the same goes with the arms as well you may have to calibrate that as well. Uh, each individual cutter can be slightly different to another, so that's why we have these specialist tools. Another thing too is blade offset. You can see here when the blade offset isn't very good, the sort of results you get are nothing compared to the results you should get, as you can see here. So again, you need to follow this through and do your calibration test. These are all very quick and easy tests to do, and I highly recommend you do them to get the most uh, uh, sharpest results you possibly can. Now when it comes time to cut something, let's just start off with a simple one colour job like this. Nothing special, just a, an example of what you can do. So you click on Centre Cutter up here, and we get the Centre Be Cut module come up, as you can see, like so. Now this is actually quite a powerful module. There's a lot of tools and features in here, as you can see, and some of them have already been turned on, so we'll just turn all those off. Uh, I'll zoom in here just so you can see what I'm doing a little bit more closely, like so. Now once we're in here, you can see this uh, text here, it's got all these little overlapping sections where the text overlaps. So we've got this cool little feature here, Weld Text, and as you can see it deals with that problem. So there's no overlapping lines to be cut. I can add Auto Speed Weed, which is a great way of improving your weeding times, or reducing your weeding times or so. And in these holes here we can add easy lift marks, like so. And you can see these little cuts that they, uh, the program puts into the cut file which increases the or decreases weeding times. You've got these advanced settings up here like advance after plot etc uh, and you've got all these uh, settings so you can uh, position where you want to put your cut file. I might want to put it 50mm by 50mm out like that like so and I'll zoom out to show you what I mean. You can see this, the gap now and I can then reset that back to zero like so. So I've got complete control of where I want to cut my uh, my particular cut file. I can also choose what blade I'm working with with the uh, blade settings here, and I can add and remove blades depending on what I'm doing and uh, what blades I've got. I can do multiple passes on the same job, so if I'm cutting cardboard or something, it, I can cut it twice or three times. When I'm ready with the job and I'm happy, I simply click Cut Now, loads it straight into the vinyl spooler, ready to cut. You simply click Proceed with Cutting, and your cutter will immediately start cutting what you've just designed. So it's pretty straightforward. When you're done, you just click Done and that's it. Now if you wanted to cut a multi-color job like this one here, it's the same procedure, you come up here and click Send a Cutter, like so, and the same module comes up, but this time you'll see that it's actually got the colors in here automatically. It's automatically color separated for us. Got these rotate tools here to save media, and as I scroll through the colors, I can see the different colors that have been sent to it, all automatically color separated. If I want to cut it as one single color, of course, I can do that by checking that box there. So it gives me complete control on how I want to do it. Again, all these settings are the same set weed box offsets. I can do things like perforation cuts if I'm doing sort of uh, craft type work. Uh, these have got their own lessons and help files that you can see when you're ready. And again I can put say weed boxes around everything like so and you know set it up the way I want to cut it. Now the thing I can do is I can spool all which means it'll cut all the colors or I can just cut the single color. So if I just want to cut this red I just click cut now. If I want to cut all of them I click spool all. All the colors load directly into the vinyl spooler like so and then I can just simply click Cut Now and each individual cut file will go to my cutter and start cutting immediately. Now there's a lot of tools and features in the vinyl spooler itself. 
Uh, it's got its own lessons and help files and things which I recommend you come along and watch uh, and read up about to find out more about it. So that's how cutting works and that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.